Good evening, everyone. I hope you're all doing amazing. This is David Hoffman from David's Been Here, coming at you from Port of Spain, the capital of Trinidad and Tobago. Tonight, I'm super excited. I'm here with my boy, Chef Jason Peru. Right? Live and in charge, man. Live and in charge. This guy's Listen, a man. We're live and direct, as you said, on RPT Avenue. We're going to be checking out some of the nighttime food here. RPT Avenue, David never sleeps. You come here 2 o'clock in the morning, you get food. You come here 10 o'clock in the morning, you get food. So we're going to be scouring throughout Port of Spain t tonight, having okay. some fun. And here we are at Doubles Den. We're going to be trying out some doubles, but not such a traditional doubles. This is doubles with different types of meats. We're talking about duck, goat, lamb, chicken. Wow. So we're going to be taking it up a notch. So we're hitting up this spot, then we're going to Yosef's Gyros, which is like Lebanese Syrian food. Yes. And then after that, we're going to like a very hot strip, right? We're going to the Savannah Strip. Savannah Strip. Different varied vendors of all types of food. I mean, you're going to love pretty much what's going to be taking place there. It's going to be simply brilliant. But you know what? Stick around. You're going to see it soon. All right, guys, let's go into Doubles Den and let's build up. Our incredible oh, doubles. Let's go. You go let's go. Let's go. Doubles are basically traditional. You just yeah. fried bara with chickpeas, different yeah. relishes yeah. and chutneys on it. Yeah. These guys have taken it up a notch at this point in time. So they're adding things like curry duck on it, curry goat, curry chicken, lamb, different relishes shrimp. and chutneys, shrimp. Epic experience here, guys, on RP Avenue Doubles Den. So let's try it out. And it's not just the meats here. It's also all the chutneys, all the sauces. So yeah, many sauces. Yeah. We actually were here earlier. We tried it a little earlier. <laughs> yeah, we did it earlier. It was great. It was amazing. Amazing. We just have to come back oh, again. I can't wait. We have to do it again. Let's do it. Alright, so that's the bara. Okay, so if you're having your doubles right here, we give you a ton of plate. So that's it, the plate and the bara. So we got the chickpeas, chana. Do you want chicken, goat, duck, or shrimp? So we're doing a mix, everything. Just throw everything on the plate. So that's your chicken. Into a duck. Oh yeah, look at that gravy. And that's your goat. So we call and it mutton. This is your lamb. Do you want shrimp? Right. Why not? Why not? Since, since we're, oh. all at, we're going all into this. Yeah. Throw everything That's in there. This one is um, sweet sauce. Charabeni. This pepper. one is pepper. Roast, Roast pepper. Yeah. And we have a we cucumber have a? cochilla. What, what's cochilla? Black masala. Uh, yes, we have the mango and we mix it up with black masala, garlic, pepper. That's the spicy pickle? Oh, well, this is the plate. So this is like a fried bread, right? Look at this, David. Could you eat all of this? I think I could. We got the duck, we got the chicken, we got the goat, we got the lamb, we got the shrimp inside here. Curry chickpeas, garbanzo bees, chana, we call it here in Trinidad Tobago. And of course, these bars. This is known as the fried dough that you use to mop up all that great sauce inside here. Bars, B-A-R-A. -A. So they don't just throw it in the box, they hang it and dry it. Yeah. So you dry out the oil. A few minutes. To get yes, rid of that. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's great. And here we go, eating it street food style on the street. That's it. Let's go. Three less it gets, David. This is what you've been waiting for. Oh, I can't wait. So you want to boost that bar, break it in half. There yeah, you go. so break it. You will tear it. Use that as a mop to get all that great sauce inside here. Oh what are you going gosh. first? Then? I don't even know. It's a mix, huh? It's just a smorgasbord of just good stuff. I'm <laughs> gonna go with the shrimp first. Are you going with the shrimp? I'm going with the shrimp. Nah, I'm just gonna soak up everything here. Just gonna get some of that beautiful chutney. Oh, cheers. Cheers, brother. Mmm. Mm. Wow. I love the butter. Mmm. It almost reminds me of like a, like an omelet in terms of the texture. Right? It does have that, right? Yeah, yeah. I think when she says she hung it, you get a nice dry feeling towards it. Exactly. It just makes it more ready to absorb some of that nice liquid. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it really absorbs. I mean, you just like drown it in the in this chutney, huh? Look at this. This is a knuckle. You need to try it. It's so tender, man. Dude, I don't even know what I'm getting here. That's chicken. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, yeah. Wow. What we got underneath there? No. <laughs> Too many things. Oh, it's duck? That's duck. Dig into it. Oh my gosh. My hands are burning here, guys. It's amazing how these vendors come out here and they manage to keep the temperature of it. It doesn't affect the integrity of the product at all. The duck is just cooked perfectly. Oh my gosh, David. The duck is amazing. It's just like not tough or anything like that. It has that nice soft texture. That's from the braising method. All the masala, the curry spices, the coriander inside is cooked so perfectly. It's just simply brilliant. All right, so let me try this duck. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Take it, take it in, take it in, take it in. Mm. Oh my God. And you can tell it's duck. It has that nice mm -hmm. dark meat color to it. Dark meat. It's so good. Super tender. Mmm, love the fat. Mmm, brown the bone. Can you see? No, let me tell you something. That stuff is actually Chardon Benny. C-H-A-D-O-N. Okay. It's a family to the culantro. You'll be familiar with the culantro. Lots in Puerto Rico and Miami. <laughs> this is what we have here. Pretty much Chardon Benny's shop. It's pungent. It's a must. When you 
nothing Indian food and even in our Caribbean food. And that's what you do. You call that the perfect bite. You just suck up everything. That's what it is. Mm. <laughs> Comfort food. If it's anything that you come to Trinidad and Tobago for, make sure you come for the gourmet doubles. So gourmet doubles, this isn't your average doubles, no, right? No. And the thing about it is that we are going to be having the traditional style doubles. I'm going to carry you to show you how it's made from the from pretty much how it comes out of the oil. At 3 in the morning? At 3 in the morning. That's amazing. So, so we've actually taken it up a notch here right now. You just mm. love that, huh? Mm -hmm. It's like curry explosion pretty much. Dude, the, the amount of flavors in here. Yeah, it's amazing. That's, that's the thing that makes our curry here in Trinidad and Tobago so different. Mm -hmm. It's not just traditional convenience style packed curry. We're just turmeric inside of it and coriander. Mm -hmm. It's actually mixed with different masalas inside there, different spices, the turmeric, the cumin, also known as jeera. The yeah, it's, it's that Indian like, influence, it's right? It's so amazing. And that wow. nice masala flavor that you're getting inside there, something that we take pride on and what really drives our curry to be so distinct here in the Caribbean. Oh my gosh. And I love how on the bottom we also have another butter. So when you get to that point, it's like drenched, huh? It's like absorbed the whole thing. Again, guys, this is bara, B-A-R-A, -A, mm. and this is the morsel of absorption of what we use in doubles. Mm. I think I got either lamb or goat. At this point, it doesn't matter. Uh, at this point, it doesn't matter, right? It's together really nicely. Mm, the bone on the bottom. Mm. Dude, it's like nice and mushy. Mm. This is the real deal here. Mm. Amazing. You got bones? That's real. And it's not hard, right? It's not hard. The duck is great testament to its texture. Why is it so good? <laughs> it's just Moorish. It's Moorish. <laughs> Do you know what makes a duck taste so good? What actually pumps our curry flavor to exude so much uh, character in the duck is that we roast our duck first. We get a nice singe on it. So that nice roasted color you get before it's actually seasoned it, chopped up, roasted to get that nice nutty flavor. That is imperative on any Trini style duck. Half our plate is done. The meat is literally falling off the bones at this point in time. This is how epically tender this is. This is amazing. So this is like, uh, I guess the new take on it, right? Like more of a fusion style. Um, the, thing about it, the thing about it, David, there's a lot of contention with this. A lot of people are very curious about mm -hmm. doubles. They literally just want to enjoy doubles as they are. That is As a veg dish. Exactly, with just chana on it and so forth like that. Okay. So a lot of people are not into gourmet doubles like this. But it's so important that we showcase outside there what's taking place in terms of innovation. Doubles done. It's amazing. It's delicious. I love it. And this is our pizza in you guys. So good. You could drink it. Put it in a I'll drink it. Put it in a shot glass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll do a little shot. Mm. <laughs> oh, it's good. So the amazing thing here is just like India, once you're done eating with your hands, you go right out here and you wash your hands right on the street. Yes, I love this. When you do this, you wash your face, rinse your mouth too. Mm -hmm. Nice rinse. Mm -hmm. Oh, now I'm ready for a yiro. It's been a minute. Actually, it hasn't been that long. I was just in Oman. I had a lot of gyros. Also Lebanon. You ready? So that one is a shrimp double. And your sauces. Oh, the butters. Mm -hmm. What amazing butter. So for the combo there, basically with like four or five meats, together with the barras, chutneys, every full works, that was about 100 TT. It's equivalent to about 15 to 16 US. Thank you so much. Appreciate Thanks, it. Thank you. Thank you. All right, David, let's go eat. So after a two minute drive, we're here at Yosef Gyros or Yiros. It's on the same strip, we just have to go around. Correct. We're actually on the uh, the, the, the eastern side of the RP Avenue right now. Okay. It's a long strip pretty much. Yeah. So you could just walk it, traverse it, and you're going to see all these different types of foods. We just had the gourmet doubles. Let's go try some of that Syrian Lebanese food. You get the Hiros, uh, the Baba Ganoush, all that good stuff. So and, let's go see what it's about. And this is like real street food, like right here on the street. Great friends, great times, great food, and it's packed. Lots it's of people here. It's an institution. Okay. Yeah, most definitely. So I know you're gonna enjoy it. I'm excited, let's go. These guys are too nice to let me in the back. So they're cooking a lot of food here. They have the lamb shawarma over there. They have chicken over here, fried chicken, they have potatoes. And over here they're doing almost like a mix, right? So you have chicken, you have beef, and they make it into like these pitas. Falafel. Like falafel as well? Yeah. Love it. This is the grill, this is the grill. 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 We're going to do a lamb and beef mix. Oh, look at this. They're adding, so what is that? Paprika, they're adding some other stuff onto the, the fries. Here, aceite. 
They don't just do shawarmas, they do a lot of chicken dishes too, right? Yeah, so like yeah. fried chicken fried wings. Chicken, you get the wedges, you get the, the Arabic potatoes. Oh you wow. Get a full line of stuff. I mean that's the beauty about Trinidad and Tobago. Yeah, even you come to the Lebanese here in a place, but they've also had that fusion of Trinidad and Tobago and whatever the palate here that people love, they try to mix the spices together. That's what makes our food so eclectic and distinct. <laughs> I love the way you talk, bro. <laughs> <laughs> all right guys, so he's building our amazing gyro. He's gonna mix this all up yeah. and then he's gonna put it all on the pita with the lettuce. So it's a little different the way they build it here, right? Sure. Yeah, why not? Slice. Slice. That's the minced beef, right? Mm -hmm. And then that's the lamb on top, tomatoes. Everything changes in a chemical form when the heat hits it, right? The mushrooms inside there, caramelization, barbecue sauce on top there. It's like a harmony of flavors. It's an amazing amount of flavors in there, it's huh? It's amazing. And just like what I told you about, like when you tried our curry, we mix a lot of spices. Dorian pineapples. Que paso ahí? This guy's too funny. All right, gonna chop it up. Perfect. The aroma coming out of there? Yeah, it's amazing, right? Oh man, plus the pineapple. It's never too much. Ooh, never. The fast and the furious. Se ve increíble esto. You did it so fast, cleaned it all. Ay, ay. Uh, is it garlic. garlic. Garlic, garlic. Man, garlic is the best. Pineapples on top. You got sweet, you got savory going on in there. You got it. Punch and see if the garlic. You just know it's going to taste good. Right? So we got Habana. So it's a mix, right? So it's lamb and beef with uh, bell pepper. Mushrooms, onions. You got pineapple inside there. You got the barbecue sauce. You got the ketchup. You got the garlic and sauce. <laughs> you know, there's a fusion of flavors and the sauces coming together it just creates that ability to just say shades in your mouth. This is amazing. This and is I huge. I remember the pitas were toasted. So you get a nice crispy exterior going on. Yeah, like, like, like caramelized, right? So, so he has a way he did it, right? To un unwrap it? Oh, just like that, huh? This is a talent when you wrap it. Oh, okay, shard. okay. Oh boy, that's what we're talking about. Just like that, huh? Look at that, look at that. Getting the shards of the lamb inside there, you can see the pineapple, you've seen the cheese. It's still crispy on the exterior, so it's not soggy. It's the, I was just in Lebanon. Lebanon's like the, the place of garlic. It's like garlic everywhere. The garlic house. The garlic. So he basically just ripped it open like this, right? Yeah, he just ripped it open. It's like, like, like a little hat? Take off the hat? <laughs> take off the hat. And then, oh. he, and then he just tops it up with a little more garlic on top. Oh. It's hot. It's piping. It's, it's, it's piping it's hot. It's piping hot. It's like a little it's tower. It's a volcanic <laughs> tower at this point in time. And this is what he did, right? He takes the garlic sauce and you just drizzle it on just like that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's what he did. Guys, cheers. cheers. Good. Mm. Oh my god, so many flavors and textures here. So amazing. You know I realize mm -hmm. the textures of the meat is different. You got the strips of the lamb, mm -hmm. you got the crumbly little bit of the beef inside. It's almost caramelized. Mm. Oh wow, and refreshing salad in here too. Mushrooms, nice and soft. The, the pineapple is also is all very sweet inside there also. So you get a balance of sweet, savory, tart from the garlic. It's like very tropical. Hey, the mess everywhere we go. Yeah, everywhere we go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. You get a gyro like this. Like this oh man, it's like the ultimate gyro. Oh, it's nice and saucy. Mm -hmm. You can see all the little caramelized bits of the minced meat inside here. Mm, like the lamb inside, the mushrooms. It's like a symphony, a harmony. Beats, guitar, mm -hmm. keys. It just comes together. It's like Beethoven. Wow. Oh. This is a great meal. I feel good right now. Mm. Plus the garlic, right? Mm. And it's almost like a messy burrito, you know? You know anything about sloppy joes? Mm -hmm. You just enjoy the comfort feeling of a sloppy joe, just eating. Getting messy. It's reminiscent of this. Hey, your hands get messy, you have to lick your fingers after. Wow. And you know, it's not a bad price. This actually goes for 50 TT, which is equivalent to about $7.50 US. Yep. Oh man, look, they're bringing more food. Oh my god. So we got some fries. Oh, look at the size of these wings, guys. Yep. Chicken wings. <laughs> they, they had to, they had look to. Look at those. <laughs> you got that ketchup and the, and the barbecue sauce on top there, the garlic. Ooh. You can see the steam in that, guys. Look at that. Oh, see? oh, it's going to hurt. <laughs> you, know, you know when you know it's going to burn? <laughs> this one's going to burn. Mm. Oh, man. The sauce makes it. Mm -hmm. You know, when you make good quality 
homemade fried chicken. Mm -hmm. No intimidating at all. Not over seasoned. It's just perfect. Really. It's Christmas like. Mm -hmm. Plus with this, I don't even know. It's like a jam. That's, that, that's ketchup with garlic. That's ketchup. Mm -hmm. It looks more like a like a guava paste. I mean, you know, it's nice and hot and fresh. Good, David. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it just falls off. This garlic sauce, right? And it's not sharp right now. It's just so mellow. Mm -hmm. It's creamy. Very mellow. The Lebanon, the garlic, it's, it's like super pungent. It's like, whoa. Mm. You're just burping it up like after. Mm -hmm. It's one you could drink, right? <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> it's like a shot. You want a shot of garlic? Literally, we'll drink, drink that. <laughs> then obviously, fries, same sauce, right? Mm -hmm. oh. That's ketchup, though? Yeah, the ketchup tastes good. Mm. Yeah, Trini ketchup. What is this? Chips yeah. now? Yeah. It's fried pita chips. So fried pita chips. Pretty much when you have a lot of pitas around and they're breaking and bursting on you, I guess. Be innovative and just fry them, right? Yeah, all the leftover stuff, just throw it to fry. And the season, black pepper mm. sauce, sumac. Oh, sumac? Sumac. Mm -hmm. that, that Lebanese spice. I'm, I'm mm -hmm. gonna chili powder inside, yeah. Mm. It's good, right? So good. The garlic, the fried pita. It's a simple thing, it's a mm. simple thing. This in a salad, you know? Yeah. It's gonna add an excellent crunch, like a crouton. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And so that extra plate they brought to us is the same thing we have here in the gyro, just without the pita. I guess if you're watching carbs and you don't want the pizza, you can get it inside. You go with that. You go with that, you know? So it's just like lean protein, you go into the gym, eat that. <laughs> you don't mind the carbs, guys. I'm gonna get one last bite, because it's so good. Actually, take this off, please. Now take that. What, this? Yeah. Mm. You eat on this. I know. Mm. Wow. Do we have both in us? Oh, I don't want well, to. I don't want to. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The ultimate gyro. You can have it. Mm -hmm. See? My boy here is from Syria, but he was in Venezuela, so we speak in my language. <laughs> Thank you. Gracias, gracias, hermano. My Syrian brother right here. <laughs> yalla, yalla. No lo vemos. Cuídate. Chao, chao. Bye, guys. Bye, bye. See you later. Bye. All right, let's go, let's go. So we're approaching the savannah right now. The savannah is actually one of the largest parcels of land in Trinidad, in Port of Spain. Uh, I believe it's 217 acres of, of this big circular mass of land that goes round with the magnificent seven of treasured buildings that we have and we're very proud about during our colonial days. The savannah is not just uh, an institution, but it's a place that people come and they exercise, they walk around. There are a lot of food items, food vendors on the strip in the savannah. It's always buzzing with activity. And of course, in the savannah itself, it's the grandstand. And that's where the Mecca of Carnival takes place. All right, guys, after a quick three minute drive, we're here at all these food trucks. The world famous savannah, the heart of Port of Spain. Look at this. You're gonna, definitely gonna have a really a great experience here, as you can see. Smoke is emitting from the chimneys, there's bellowing of smoke coming out. Oh wow. And you can get your room in the atmosphere already. You're just getting barbecue, you're getting curry, you're getting roti, you're getting corn soup, you're getting wings. Wow. Look at this. Oh. I tell you, this night will don't sleep. They don't Literally sleep. Go, our nocturnal life wow. just kicks on. We're a party country. Dude, this is amazing. <laughs> hey guys, how you doing? Are you okay? Everything good? Yeah. So how do you make this? How do you make this pickle? This delicious lime. Lime. And it's so chicken for today. Right. And again, that pickle. So let's try some of your chicken for salt. Okay. All right. So what's going to happen is that there are two elements that you got to remember. You gotta pick this up and you gotta chew it up and bite it up. You're gonna get either the chicken feet or the pig's feet. But what really, where the flavor resides, is actually in the sauce itself. The pickle juice, that's the lime, the salt, the water inside there, the seasonings, the black pepper, everything inside there. And that's where the essence of the meat really resides. So I've done it before in Mexico. So basically it's a bunch of cartilage. You just go in, yeah. just chew around, pull out the meat, the fat, and then spit out the bones. Correct. The, the cartilage. I was gonna add some more sauce. Add some more sauce, please. So let's dive into this. You wanna try the cucumber? Let's try the cucumber first, so you get an idea of the flavor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice. Going with the chicken, but very crunchy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pickled, right? Mm -hmm. And you can see it's all that cartilage inside there. It's nice and soft now. 
you just go in and you just... But then it goes to your long as pickles, but it's something that stays there just for a long period of time, but mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. you still get a crunch, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Gotta get rid of that, that little bird, right? It's like straight gelatin, you know? Yeah. Oh, you suck. It's good collagen, you know? <laughs> it is. It's good for your cheeks. Yeah, yeah, for all sure. All the girls outside with the Botox, this is what you need to have. <laughs> all, the, all the lip fillers. If you like exotic food, here you go. <laughs> you know? Natural cartilage. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, it's getting deep into it here, huh? I know some of you guys think this is exotic, but... Look at that. You can see that blubber on it. That's that nice fat. See the shot on Benny on it, right underneath it. Big feet at the bottom? Yeah. So she literally just covered this with, like, chicken feet. Look at this Russell there. Oh, okay. <laughs> Woo! Look at that Look jiggle. at that guy. Look at that jiggle. Oh, my God. Beyonce will be jealous right now. All right, all right. Mmm. Mm -hmm. mm. This is my favorite. Yeah, it's tastier. It's actually a lot more jello here, a lot more fat. Yeah, yeah. I see the kick foot, but they stop. Mm -hmm. mm. This is good. Oh. This is great. It it's great. And it's easy to get through too, you know, it's not so hard like the other one. Yeah. The other one you have just too many bones. I love this one. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. I love it because it's pickled too. So it's a little different in terms of flavor. Yeah. I've had it like regular like in Mexico. This yeah. And they add sauces. They literally have to add sauces for tasting something. You know what I think you should do? Give us a little bit of shadow Benny inside there. Oh yeah. So it's Benny, huh? Shadow on Benny. That's the culantro. I didn't know this, but culantro and cilantro are two different things. They are. Culantro is definitely a little more sharper. And shadow Benny is actually the native cousin to culantro. Okay. We also call shadow Benny serrated leaf cilantro. Oh, serrated okay. leaf, okay. Serrated leaf, because it has this jagged edge. Now what I need you to do, one last thing, David. Yeah, tell me. Is this where you take the shot? Oh, you, know you, the, drink you know, it? You know, yeah. you know leche, leche de tigre. <laughs> you gotta take this. This stuff is gonna make you really prolific. When you drink it, it's gonna strengthen the back. Go, boy, go. Go, 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 go. Not so bad, not so bad. <laughs> it's not so, it's not as terrible as leche de tigre, right? No, no, no. It's nice sharp. Yeah, it's, it's, it's actually like a nice, nice herbal broth. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's not so bad. Exactly, you know. How much is it? $50 or 5 US. That's what we roll with, brother. <laughs> yeah, it's all about those Benjamins. Hey, thank you so much. David, uh, here the name? David, David. My channel. David's oh, been here. Jason, what are chows? It's any food that we hear in Trinidad and Tobago. We pickle it. We cure it with some black pepper, some salt, some lime inside there. Maybe some minced garlic. And we allow it to just marinate and cure for like maybe 10 to 15 minutes. So it has that nice, sweet, savory flavor, but also a little bit of spice inside there. Pretty much every fruit that we have here in Trinidad and Tobago can be chowed. Pineapple, mango, palm citage, plums. As you can see here right now, we got pineapple. And I'm actually seeing watermelon, which is pretty interesting. Because I know watermelon is so drenched with that nice, sweet water. So it's a great balance of sweet and savory that's going on. Okay, so we decided to go with what? We decided to go with the, the pineapple and mango chow. We get the best of both worlds. We got watermelon inside there. I'm seeing pineapple. You have mango. Those green specks, Shadow and Benny, right? What's that? This is your magic sauce, right? Looks fire, man. Oh, you mix it up. It's salt. Salt, it's salt. You pretty much doesn't want to add it before because it breaks down the fruit. So this is the yeah, actual thing. That's how it is, huh? So here we go. We got the bag. I'm ready. All right. So where do you go? Try the pineapple first. Pineapple. Oh, big one. Mmm. Wow. 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 So it's like... It's pickled, but it's spices. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's pepper too. It's pepper inside here. Everything is it's all about the balance of sweet, savory, spicy, everything inside here. Our food is very colorful. Mm -hmm. So as you would have tasted, especially with the doubles that are on, we just keep on piling on more and more flavor for a flavor experience. More sauces. Mmm. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> now it hits you, right? So let's see what else is in here. I'm seeing the mango seed. Whoa. <laughs> You know you gotta drink that later, right? Oh yeah, drink all that later. Every, everything that we that has liquid, you go. Oh, the watermelon. Watermelon right here. Let me see what's food. Oh, it's the mango seed. Oh, the, that's the mango seed. Yeah, you can imagine. Look at the character on that. I don't know if you guys can see that. Look at that. The mango seed. Okay. So you just suck that, right? Mm. Nothing goes to waste, man. Nothing. I'm gonna try the watermelon now. I haven't had that yet. 
Spiced watermelon. <laughs> you know what I get from it? It's like reminiscent feelings of gazpacho. Gazpacho. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This guys. Look at this. Mm. Oh baby. You can see that sauce. Oh my gosh. What's that? I have no idea. Magic fruit. Well, it's a prune. Oh, prune. Mmm. It's like a hard prune, though. Very meaty. Mm hmm. And after you're done, you go in here and you, you drink, right? Drink it. Let me see if I can. Like it's just like doing beer. Let's do it. I don't want to spill chug, it all over chug, myself. Chug, 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 chug. Woo! Oh. Mmm. Man, the spices mixed with all those juicy fruits. Bro, it's amazing. I want you to experience a trade out thus far, brother. Woo! I feel good. I haven't had this many mixes of flavors in a long time. So many. Wow. Your tongue is just like registering stuff in your brain right now. Yeah. It's like, what's going on? Where am I? Which country am I in? Mm hmm? And I told you, that's Love exactly this. what our people are about. We have so many rich heritage and creeds and races inside here that everything just harmonizes and comes together. Mm. You really taste the people of Trinidad and Tobago when you eat here. $50 or five US dollars at this point in time. So there you go, hands me back at 20. Hey bro, thank you so much. Thank appreciate you. it, appreciate it, so good. So what do you recommend? What's your favorite? Passion fruit with a little orange, pineapple and something. Okay, so we're gonna mix pineapple, orange and passion fruit. Passion. Okay, let's, we'll do one. Let's get a medium for him. Let's medium. So these are fresh juices, right? Yeah, well, it's fresh one actually. And this one is what? Grapefruit. Grapefruit. Orange. Pineapple. Oh, so it's four juices. Four. I mean, four fruits. Four. So passion fruits, orange, grapefruit, oh. and pineapple. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. So passion fruit, grapefruit, orange, orange and, pineapple. and pineapple. Amazing. Oh my god. Oh, it's like sour. It's sweet. It's everything. Mmm. Oh, so refreshing. And all this is fresh juice, right? All fresh. Yeah, you know, we're here in Trinidad. This is the Caribbean, right on the cusp of South America. Super hot, you need juice to refresh. It's very hot. Amazing, amazing. So how much is it for this one? 15. 15. So whatever that is. Two or three US dollars. Two or three US dollars? Mm-hmm. I think it's perfect, you know, after having all this food, this is like a palate cleanser, you know, cleans you out, and that is it. No more food for me. You're you? Good for the night, huh? Are you good? I think I'm good for the night also. That <laughs> sauce filled me up, and especially the chow. Yeah. Um, Yusuf's food was, oh my God, it was so delightful. And of course, that uh, duck and goat and lamb and doubles everywhere. Oh, so I don't know. Spices and har harmonious I'll, flavors going on there, man. I'll tell you, between the doubles and the gyro, oh, I don't know which is better. How's your first day thus far? Amazing. Love Trinidad and Tobago. I'm excited. I'm ready. This is day one, and it just got started. Hey, thank you so much to That's the chef, the chef, Jason Peru. Here we go. If you guys love this video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. We'll see you in the next travel food adventure here in Trinidad. Mm -hmm. You can't get enough of that juice, huh?